friends, welcome back to my channel. So I'm a little bit sick today, so I might be a little bit croaky in this video. I'm not feeling my best, my throat's really bad. Plus, I'm kind of annoyed because I literally just recorded this whole video and my voice didn't record, so I have to re-record the whole thing, which is super annoying. But anyway, today I have another little kind of mini build for you. I've been seeing this trend around Bloxburg lately with people building super tiny houses, and these are basically just houses that are really small but they've still got everything you need in them and things are like super efficient so like um furniture you can double up as something else so maybe you have a desk that's also your dining table and stuff like that so they're just kind of cute little efficient houses and this is mine behind me here um i just went for like a cute little green theme i really like this kind of mossy green color and i've just thrown some decorations around it like trees and stuff um i really like how this looks um it kind of like reminds me of a caravan just because of how like long it is it just looks like a little caravan um but this house is three squares this way by six squares this way so it is super tiny it probably works out about the same amount of squares as like the five times five house i imagine um i'm not actually counted but i guess it's kind of similar size but i've just gone for these like really nice light colors i'm i just love this wood i've literally used it everywhere i think it's so pretty it's just like a really nice wood and it's like actually white like some of the other woods when you paint them they just end up going gray with like the pattern and i really like how this looks it's just super airy and pretty and i just really like this house so let me show you the inside so if we head in here we just have like the little welcome mat to the house here and then over here is like the desk area that i figure could also be the dining tables you can either sit here and do your work or you can you know eat your dinner and i've used these like cabinets above here as kind of like storage rather than like kitchen cabinets because then like i figured if they're like storage you can still put stuff underneath them and it just kind of saves spaces so i guess they're kind of like wardrobe because over here we have the bed um this is super tiny and kind of, kind of hard to get round um, but here's the bed above here and just under here we have the sofa area and because like the bed came with this kind of table at the back i've just put some decorations on it so i've just got some plants and some pictures and a candle i really love this um texture on plant pots at the moment i think it looks super pretty and just makes them look really detailed but yeah that is the little bedroom bit and then over here we have my tiny little kitchen and why am i finding it so hard to move okay there we go here is my oops see this zoom is so tricky now it just sends you outside that's not what i want this is my tiny little kitchen area i feel like i fit so much in here as you can see like above this hood for the oven i put the tv for the sofa i feel like that like fits in really well and then we just have the oven we've got the kitchen sink and i put this kind of ladder shelf through the cabinet just for a bit more storage so then i could put like these items on here um you can kind of see it in the kitchen sink but we'll just pretend you can't and that it looks really good um and next to this of course we have my sponge and my washing up liquid which i'm literally putting in every build now it's like my new favorite thing to do there i just think they're so cute and then of course we've got the fridge you know for food so we've basically got everything you need to be able to cook so that's like the main living area and then back here through this door which is kind of a bit of a squeeze is the bathroom so just got everything you'd need in a bathroom we've got the bathroom sink we've got toothbrush we've got the towels and then of course we've got the bath and i put a little shower over here um it's kind of a decent sized bathroom to be honest like it's quite a big space for a tiny house i quite like how it looks but that is basically all of my tiny house i really like this i think it's such a fun little build to do so definitely try it out yourself guys so that is it for the tour of the tiny house guys of course the speed build for this house will be coming up in just a few moments so you can stick around and watch that if you'd like if not that's completely fine but please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and comment down below with any future ideas for videos i really love hearing your guys ideas and yeah a big thank you for watching guys bye Mwah.
always guys a big thank you to those of you who have stuck around to the end of the video please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and of course leave any comments down below with future video ideas that you guys would love to see i love hearing your guys ideas and yeah thanks for watching guys bye Mwah.